Kırgızeli baştan ile şu Kırgız çılgısın adamın yaşı olsun mene baylaştırıp gelgen Özgürtçe Kırgız'ın yaşı olsun mene at adamın anatı değil. Bodo learned the old ways from a trusted source, his own father, a famous Sanjarachi, or keeper of the traditional knowledge. It's a way of life that helped Kyrgyz pastoralists live in harmony with nature for tens of thousands of years. And it was based on the unique qualities of the Kyrgyz horse. This <laughs> Bu adam sımal dolu, akıl doluğu, bölük malga salıştırmalı, ötele çok oru. Now both men and their horses feel that the climate and environment of this high mountain world is changing. Biz turgan yer dengiz dengeninden 3.5 bin metr büyüklükte turu atavuz. Uşul atın omur olsan gelgen. Atın omur olsan gelip Türkçe'le. Migrating to high summer pastures was the Kyrgyz way of preserving the soil and sustaining these precious grasses. Eğer bir lejerge tığılıp tegerek de yersek, acer taka olup, çöp kırtışı çok olup gede turan korkun çöp olup durat hazır. But not everyone is following the old ways, and the earth and future generations will pay the price. Çok çok cahil olur var. Hem o şaka mal var baydat. Eğer barat turgan bolsa, when the herders animals overgraze the low pastures, the ecosystem is thrown off balance, because normally healthy soils would absorb more carbon than even forests do. But Boto and his entire family have a strong ally in the fight to save the precious high mountain environment. It's the short-legged, steady Kyrgyz horse. It is strong enough to keep alive the traditional way of rotating pastures and migrating up and down the mountain. Yemeye <gülüyor> 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 It's morning in the high mountain pasture. When the lamb and goats are let out of the coral, the spectacular parade of creatures begins. Riding horseback, Boto leads the overloaded camel stepping gingerly down the perilous mountain paths. One slip and the whole caravan could come tumbling down. And just behind the camels, on the back of Boto's trusted beagle-colored horse, ride his most precious riders, his wife and two little girls. But Kyrgyz nomads have faced much greater perils before, and they've always found an ally in the Kyrgyz horse, especially during the Urkun, or Exodus, when many fled to China a century ago. 
Kyrgyz historians say it followed a massacre committed by Tsarist Russia after a revolt by the Kyrgyz people against their forced conscription into the Imperial Army. Thankfully, today's journey ends well. On the final leg home, on horseback or in Boto's vehicles, everyone is quietly wondering if the pastures will recover because they know there's no future for the old ways and the Kyrgyz horse without the Kyrgyz grasslands. And as the old horse breeders know, if the flying horse disappears, it would be like clipping our grandchildren's wings. <laughs> <laughs>